Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which amino acid has an R group with PKA closest to the physiological pH? First of all, what is the PKA means? Take a look at this table and here we see 20 amino acids and the first group would be amino acid which R group may have a charge. So Take a look, aspartic acid and glutamic acid, R chain has negative charge, but arginine, histidine and lysine are in the group with positive charge. But what is interesting, while arginine has positive charge and lysine has positive charge, histidine here shown without charge. How come? Out of 20 amino acids, only this amino acid have a charge at the physiological pH which is 7.4 and histidine here, those shown in the group with positive charge at the physiological pH usually don't have a charge but PKR or PK3 is very close to the physiological pH. Actually it is 6.0 so at the physiological pH it easily can get a charge or lose this charge. But in this group, we also missing couple amino acids that may get a charge in the R group, but they are not shown here because they can get a charge at the extreme physiological conditions, at the extreme pH. And these five amino acids are grouped together because they have a charge, whether negative or positive, at the physiological pH or conditions very close to physiological pH. Let me show you another table. In this table we see amino acids that may get a charge in the R group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 amino acids. Actually amino acids may get a charge not only in the R group but also in the carboxylic group or amino group. In carboxylic group they may be negatively charged or can be neutral and in the amino group they can get positive charge or can be neutral. So hence we have here three columns. PK1 stands for the carboxylic end of the amino acid. PK2 stands for the amino group of the carboxylic acid amino and and Side chain PK3 or PKR stand for the R groups of the amino acids that may get a charge. So what all these numbers means? For example, let's take arginine and PK1 is 2.1. So PK1 here is a uh, arginine and PK1 would be a carboxylic end of this amino acid and 2.1 means that at pH 2.1, 50% of this group in this amino acid would have a charge, would have negative charge and another 50% is going to be neutral. And for example, what PK2 means here, which is 9.0, that means that this amino and in a solution which is below 9.0, would be proteinized and is going to have a positive charge here. Again, 50% is going to have positive charge and another 50% is going to be neutral. And next column, side chain, PK3, or we also can say PKR, 12.5 here stand for this group, for amino group here in R chain and below this number, below pH 12.5 it's going to be proteinized and is going to have positive charge but above this number this positive charge is going to be lost and one hydrogen also going to be lost and this R group in this solution is going to be neutral. And the last column PI or isoelectric point tell us that this particular amino acid is going to be neutral at the pH 10.5. Eight. Again, about 50% of these amino acids are going to be neutral, another 50% is going to have a charge. 
But you also have to understand that being neutral, it doesn't mean that this molecule is not going to have a charge. It may have, say, negative charge here and positive charge here, but on the overall, negative plus one positive charge is going to be zero charge. So it's going to be neutral because positive and negative charge would cancel each other. Now, if we check pKa3 or pKr of all chargeable amino acid, we are going to find that one, which is histidine, has most closest uh, pH to physiological pH. So take a look, physiological pH is 7.4 and out of all seven chargeable amino acid, histidine has the closest number to physiological pH. And what is the importance of this information? Why we have to memorize that this amino acid has closest pKa to the physiological uh, pH of the blood. This amino acid, just like uh, these two with positive charge, may uh, form ionic bridges with negatively charged side chains of the aspartic acid and glutamic acid. So this amino acid may react on the physiological conditions which can change throughout our body and uh, can perform a function of the lock. So it can be open or closed. May form ionic bounding or if it's going to be neutral, then such bounding would be lost. And this in its own term may affect conformation of the protein, its two-dimensional shape and make it active or not active depending on the physiological conditions, depending on the pH. So now we can choose the correct answer. Let's read the question again. Which amino acid has an R group with a pKa closest to physiological pH? And you don't have to memorize all amino acids, but this amino acid histidine is unique among them because it can perform as regulatory uh, amino acid, which may form or break ionic bounding between other amino acids with negatively charged R groups. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.